Welcome everyone to the Plains in Jordan-Hare Stadium, home of the Auburn Tigers, where telling someone War Eagle is just as common as saying hello. What a matchup we have in store. It's still early in the season, but this is a major test for a couple of squads who've gotten out of the gate undefeated. As we'll see, the number 11 team in the country, the Oklahoma Sooners, taking on the winners of four straight, the Auburn Tigers. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. Sooners will get us underway with the opening kickoff. On the run from inside his own five. And the coverage team gets the returner on the ground. So Auburn's return man heartily helped out the offense with that one. And as we look out on the field, here comes the man. The man who makes it all go, and that's this quarterback. Yeah, and he's big time. That's why he's up for all these awards. He's, he's known. Everybody knows exactly what he brings to the table. He can run it. He can throw it. They're expecting a big day from this young fellow. Quarterbacks love the short passing game early in games because it really helps them get into a rhythm. So nice job by the offensive coordinator giving his quarterback an easy throw, something he can see, and something that he knows he can complete. They've got it first and 10 from the 25. This guy's a game changer at the running back position, man. Don't you just feel like you have to be if you're going to be toting the rock at Auburn? Bo Jackson obviously won a Heisman Trophy. Cadillac Williams, Ronnie Brown on the same team at the same time. And then Tank Bigsby here in recent years, too. Physical runners, but they also had speed. They were the total package, and I think this guy fits right into that category. Oh, so close to paying off the tip drill. He had it in his hands, but it falls incomplete. Zone coverage that time in the cornerback. A nice job with his eyes. He's watching the quarterback. He sees the ball thrown, so he knows exactly when to break on it. He's able to break it up for an incompletion. Auburn sends out the punting unit. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. So the Oklahoma Sooners offense will try to get something going with their first possession. This matchup on the outside, Jesse, a big play weapon for the offense, a shutdown corner for the D. They say big time players make big plays in big games. So who gets the best of this matchup? That's going to determine the game. Yeah, I mean, such a fun chess match. How much are they on each other during the game? The head to head matchup that everybody wants to see. The Sooners headed quickly to the line. Looking for a crease to the left. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. This crowd, full throat, splitting the eardrums and letting him know it's going to be a long day. Trying play action. Finds the tight end. Gets it to the 46-yard line. First down for this offense. And the Sooners come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Love the way he didn't just run to a spot. He found the cushion in the zone and got himself open for the first down. Yeah, and you're taught to find that space. Now, don't run right into a zone defender who's sitting there looking at the quarterback and looking at you. So much creativity with routes now of being able to just have subtle moves one way, come back the other way. Nice job by the tight end finding that hole in the zone. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Looking for a man. It's Arnold. And he can't escape, and down he goes. And that is the way you set the tone. Man, early and often. Here in the first quarter, getting your first sack. Nice job by this defense. They had four last week, and it's looking like today it's going to be more of the same. The Sooners will punt it away on fourth down. First one of the day is booted away. They ran him out there four times in the victory last week. Couldn't get away from that cover team, and they've got him down at the 23. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. Here's the handoff. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. 
He wants to throw here on second down. Quick strike complete. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Going up top on first down. Grabbed in the middle. It's fair weather. And he might be known for run fits, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage. And nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. That completion leaves us with second and medium. He's looking to throw. Tosses it incomplete. Unfortunate with that incompletion, the quarterback and his intended target not on the same page. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. Looking to throw it again. And it's incomplete on third down. Auburn's going to have to send out the punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll bring it back. It's Ocha. Was looking for more running room, but found nothing but more tacklers. He's down at the 24. Here come the Sooners, ready to go on offense. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. They get him stopped after a gain of four out to the 28. The Sooners want to move quickly. From the gun, he leaves it with the bat. Gets it out to the 38-yard line after picking up 10 on that one. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. You know, Oklahoma's DNA is being tough. They have a whole drill about being tough named after them. The Oklahoma drill, and they won that one. Yeah, and we've seen that kind of come and go some throughout the years, but it started with serious physicality back in the day when they read the option and just hit you in the mouth. But, you know, football's involved, and, and that's the one thing about this offense. Can they keep their physicality and assert their physicality? The good Oklahoma teams are physical. And you don't want to start this game with two straight punts. Big third down opportunity coming here. He's got it inside the 30. Touchdown, Oklahoma! A great catch and run for six. And that is just outstanding execution on that pass play. Great route by the receiver. Good timing on the throw by the QB. Receiver catches it in stride, turns on the Jets, and is gone. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point makes it 7 0. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. UCLA is down right now inside the Rose Bowl, but this young man under center has shown some moxie. We could see a legend born in Pasadena today. They're trailing by just two to Oregon. The gift to the back. For now, it's back to you fellas, but of course, if anything changes, you'll see it right here. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Looking for a gap. It's Hunter. Now they've got breathing room. Got six all the way out to the 20. Let's we'll see if they go back to the run here on third down. Looking to throw. A little screen to the running back. And he never had a chance. As soon as he caught it, the defense was right there. Well, the offense on third down there, they're just trying to spit the ball out quickly and see if they can get a block and get north. But the defense, really nice job getting after the catch, getting a tackle, and now setting up fourth down. Here comes the Sooner offense back onto the field. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving. Oh, and it's picked off. Threw it right into the teeth of double coverage. Got some room to run. Just an outstanding return after the pick, and he'll put that offense in business at the 45. 
Now, some defensive players just have a knack. I've played with guys throughout the course of my career that you can't coach it. It's not speed. It's not strength. It's literally, I know when to break on the football, how to go get it, and how to pull it in. It's just a knack. The offense set for a first down play. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. And he didn't squeeze it, it's loose! Defense swarming on that loose ball. It'll be a turnover. Offensive players, when they got the ball in their hand, they're trying to make plays, right? Trying to make you miss. There's nothing better than closing that gap and sticking that head right in that guy's chest and causing a fumble. So Oklahoma has it again, and here comes the offense. Well, let's see if this drive goes better than the last one. They were in and out quickly after the quick pick, David. Yeah, first play, big mistake, man. Now, let's get this offense in a little bit of a rhythm, maybe before you open it up again, Palmer, or do you trust him right away? Uh, he seems to me like the guy maybe that just needs to kind of get into the flow of the game. So maybe you get the running game going here and just give him some easy looks to let him get lined up. And the Sooners racing to the line in the hurry up. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. Out of the gun, the running back has it. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no game land. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. He'll pull it down. And he avoids the hit and slides after the short game. The Sooners decide to punt it away. Yeah, and the QB decided to take it himself. He got a little bit of pressure, you could see, and decided to take off, scramble, and couldn't get the first down. And now it's fourth down decision time. No matter where it is on the field or what the distance is, you know there's a chance we still might go for it. Off the play fake on first down. Fires left. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Don't you just love the big boys? When the big boys up front do their job and create a great pocket, and the quarterback has time now to survey the field and take shots down the field and make huge plays. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Quick pass on the fly motion. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Dropping back, it's Thorne. Going for the big play. And it falls in complete. But it could have been much, much worse as the defender was right there. Yeah, and I like the shot, the aggressive play down the field. And we like throwing those jump balls up to my receiver because usually the receiver makes the play and makes the defender look bad. Nice job by the defender getting a hand on it, tipping that ball away from the wide receiver. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Got enough for the first down. Makes the stop at the 32, but he picks up 10 on that play. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. You know when you're playing against a defense of this caliber, you're going to have to have some sort of balance, right? You can't just drop back and throw it every single play. Nothing going on that last run. They're going to have to find another way to get it going, handing the ball. Finds his way for three out to the 33. The Sooners want to crank the tempo. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Fires to the right. Pulls it in. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. 
And listen, the defense knew coming into this one they were going to target him early and often. He is a weapon, and there's no mystery where the quarterback's going to be looking on critical down and distances. Let's see how they're able to cover him throughout the rest of this game. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. They're able to find the tight end for an easy completion, but good job tackling, not allowing him to get the first down. Maybe a three-yard pickup there, third and long coming up. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Looking for a man, it's Arnold. Pressure's there, and he gets rid of it. Guys, this offense is going to have to find a way to protect this quarterback. He has already been under unbelievable duress early in this game. They're not going to be able to complete throws if they can't keep him standing up. It'll go out of bounds, and we'll see where they mark it. It's going to be right around the 35. Now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. Quarterback on the keeper. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards maybe, second and seven. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. Wide receiver shows motion. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. We reached a quarter break with Oklahoma on top. One period in the books, and let's take a look at the stats. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game as we open the second quarter. Auburn sends out the punting unit. Three and out, and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. Running it back, it's Chuck. He gets a block. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. Now the Oklahoma offense will go back to work. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. And the Sooners will hustle for the line. Leaves it with the running back. And they'll wrestle him to the ground after a short game. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. They'll try to run for it. That'll be enough for the first down as they stop him at the 43-yard line. The Sooners come to the line with a new set of downs. Well, this offense is sending a little bit of a message here. Of course, we know how much they've struggled on third down all season long. They're just never able to seem to get into a rhythm. But after that last running play, moving the sticks, you just wonder what that does for their confidence. Just the ability to move the chains, keep the drive going, sort of quintessential efficiency from a Sooner quarterback. Yeah, and from a Sooner offense. The quarterback scrambled around, but the defense able to scramble him and turn it into a sack. Tigers bringing the heat the way Andre Bruce did back in the day. And they just find those big, nasty, strong, physical guys that can eat up the line of scrimmage and get after quarterbacks. It's one of the staples of these Auburn teams all throughout the years. Really need to pick up some yardage this time on second and long. Give to the running back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. This is a third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Didn't have anything working and just had to throw it away on third down. And they'll send out the field goal unit. Looks as if this will be a 51-yard attempt. Never a doubt. And now the lead is even bigger. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg, 50-plus, and he did it with ease.
After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. The deficit here is just 10 points, David, so a chance to answer here. Plenty of time left in this football game. No need to panic. This offense just has to put a couple drives together. And listen, the defense will get this back and get some stop ball and get you the football back. And I think, I think here too, David, you have an opportunity to keep the pressure on the opponent. Yeah, they just pass on the way. It's picked off. Trying to take it back. Inside the 30. Inside the 10. Touchdown Sooners! The defense puts six on the board with a big-time interception return. How efficient have they been as they extend this lead here in Week 5? Look, a lot of time left, but there's a little bit of distance right now being put on the scoreboard. There is, but it's so awesome when you're a defense and you study all week about what's coming and what routes to be ready for, and then you jump the route and you make the plays and you just go get in that end zone. It is so beautiful. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And with the extra point, they now have a three-possession lead at 17. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. UCLA is in the unusual position of having to come from behind right now, but there's not a soul who doesn't believe they can't pull this off. They'll start this drive with a pass. They're trailing by nine to Oregon. We'll circle back if anything big happens you should know about. It. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. And they're trying to dig out of the hole on second and long from the nine. Dropping back, it's Thorne. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. He's looking downfield to throw. Catch in the middle. It's Lewis. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Auburn's going to have to send out the punt team. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. Slips through the line. He was able to get that ball up to the 48-yard line before he stopped on the return. The Sooner offense returns to the field. You want to talk about having a weapon to bail out a drive? David, that's why kickers are so important after that long field goal. And listen, important is a relative term. We need to make longer passes and get better gains so we don't have to kick long field goals, Palmer, again on offense. And they've got the weapons to do that, David. they just got to be able to dial those plays up. Guys have to be able to make them one-on-one -on -one to make life easier on this kicker. is so important to this team. They want to run it left here. We're fighting off the defender. And a nice, solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. The Sooners are in the hurry-up. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. And for the second time tonight, they'll trot out the field goal kicker. Oh, and he missed it. No good. Had a chance to make this lead 20, but we're still sitting on a 17. that Auburn offense onto the field again. They just haven't been able to get anything going, and they better get started or it's going to get away from them, David. Yeah, and these are the weeks that you really wish that you were playing a video game, and you could just reset the console, start over, Jesse, and make something better happen early. It just looked like they're sleepwalking in this first half, and it's not just one guy. Afterburner's coming, 
A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds, and he has the first down. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. Wrestled down at the 26. It's a gain of four. Motion from the offense. Back to throw. It's Thorne. He finds his man. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. The Tigers are on the move. They'll run it. It's Hunter. Just couldn't get away from the tackle. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Snags it. And he will score. Touchdown Auburn. It's a much needed life from this offense as they try to cut away at this lead. No doubt. Needed something to go right. If you're down, you've got to make plays. you got to get your team back in it. Great start. Keep chipping away. The AT unit on the field. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. The kickoff team on the field, and he ought to just boom this thing through the end zone with that extra 15 yards on the penalty. A first down for the offense. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. And that'll be incomplete. They tried to hit him with a big one on first down. After the misfire, it's second and ten. The play action fake. Snagged in the middle, it's Anderson. Ripping off a pretty good chunk of yardage. They've got it out to the 41 with a first down. Another big play for this Sooner receiver, dare I say, Hollywood-esque. Hollywood is right, and that's one guy that comes to mind, by the way. But this offense, it, it just does what it does. No matter the name, no matter the, the coach, whoever it is, it's going to be high-flying, it's going to be fast-paced, and it's going to be really good. From the gun, running back on the move. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. And the Sooners want to pick up the tempo. Back to pass, it's Arnold. Tight end finds a soft spot. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. No reason to panic when you see those extra bodies coming. Just find the big tight end. Well, and the great ones do that. The great ones are okay. You want to blitz? I know my answers. I'm all right. I'll stay patient. Find the matchup. This time it was the tight end. Finds the tight end, throws a strike, gets the first down. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. The Sooners will snap it on first and ten. He'll do it himself. Pass the first down marker and still running. And he's brought down after a nice game. They've moved it to the 19, first and ten. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea, because if he can get out in space and he gets a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as he saw in that last play, getting a first down. Running to the left. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. This crowd knows when to bring it. From the gun, the ground game. And how about that alertness and that swarming D to keep him from getting the first down? He'll have to settle for a field goal attempt. It's good. And they'll push that lead out a little further. Oh, 
After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. There's certainly still a hill to climb, but they've got to make sure these drives pay off. Got a touchdown last time. Can they back it up here? Well, and it's amazing in a football game how sometimes they'll surprise you with what you do. Once you get settled and you realize what's going on, now I'm comfortable with it. Jesse, this offense looked comfortable on its last drive. They sure did. It looked like they started to find some momentum. So now it's on this defense to stop that, all right? You're a little bit upset based on what just happened the previous drive. You've got to bow up again and go back to what was working earlier in this game. They'll keep it on the ground. And a good, solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. Safe completion on the screen. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Auburn going to work with another first down. Pulls and throws off the RPO. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. He's got it on the right. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. And they'll line up from the 31 on first down. He's looking to throw it. Fires to the wide out. And that's a mistake you don't expect to see from a senior, and he is lucky to get it back. Now on second down. Looking to throw, it's Thorne. Got his man downfield. And he's brought down after a nice game. Just inside the red zone, first and 10 from the 19. Yeah, and you've seen these curl routes. This is a timing route. Understand the ball's got to come out of my hand right when he hits the top of that curl. Nice job by the QB finding him. Nice catch. And the short completion brings up second down. They keep attack. Deep shot for the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Tiger. And a really nice job understanding I got to get to that gap where there's a little bit of open space in the middle of the field when I run that post route. QB lays it out for him, and he catches it. Gets two feet in bounds in the end zone. Touchdown. On to attempt the try. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Guys, two very different emotions inside the locker rooms of those top 15 teams who did battle today. Georgia looked less like a pack of dogs and more like a group of road warriors in a solid victory. This team almost always plays tough between the hedges, and today they found a way outside of Sanford Stadium. Iron sharpens iron, and you just know a top 15 matchup like this is going to go a long way in telling the story of each of these teams' seasons. And Kevin Connors keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. He's looking for a man on second down. He makes a catch. And they're getting it rolling with that play to the 42-yard line. Well, it didn't take long for this guy to leave his impact in the game, guys. With that catch, this guy's already over 100 yards in the game, and we're not even done the first half. Looking to pass. It's Arnold. Unloads to the wideout. Makes the grab. Good, solid pick up there. Now they can start to smell it with a first down at the 31. Looking to move it through the air. Gets rid of it. The short hands. It's Anderson. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. They're in the red zone, and they'll pass it. He's got it on the run, and he'll haul it in and take it to the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma! 
defense has to be better on the back end. They knew this offense was going to come out, and they were going to challenge them. They were going to try to push the ball vertically down the field. They've now given up two touchdown passes in this game. They have got to shore up their play in the back half. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And the finisher, an 18-yard touchdown throw. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. And now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. This late in the half, you're behind. You'd love to create something before the break to build momentum, Jesse. But you've also had some miscues on offense, a big part of why you're losing the game right now. I'd take it into halftime, make my adjustments, and come out ready in the second half. Yeah, I'm going to take it into halftime too, Paul. But I'm trying to put some points up right here. Be aggressive, set the tone, and be like, hey, listen, this is what you're going to get in the second half, so find something really quickly you can go to. The offense will quickly use the timeout. Throws to the wideout. Wide open downfield. Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. The Tigers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. On the run, it's Thorne. He's got his man. And listen, I know that wasn't a huge gain. It was positive, but I like doing more of that in today's college football. I'm just going to try to give my playmakers a chance to do damage in space away from all the big boys inside. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. From the gun, wants to pass. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. And on fourth down, they'll try to salvage the drive with a field goal. And this one is anything but routine. A 48-yard attempt from the right hash. Kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive. So they get the late field goal right before the half and not much time after this kickoff for an answer. Here's the return from inside his tent. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Good, solid, determined run there. They'll mark him down at the 27. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Thanks, guys. A first half that saw a little bit of everything there on the plains. And it'd be easy to say these two offenses are glad we've hit halftime based on their respective performances. It would also be accurate. Turnovers and sacks have told the story so far. And you got to believe the play calling has been the issue, right? Time to shred those game plans and just get back to basics. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Pat Dye Field in Jordan-Hare. Just about set here in the second half as Auburn about to kick it off. And he'll just take a knee and this drive will start at the 25. Time for this Sooner offense to go back to work. If it's working, why change it? And that running game was working in the first half. I imagine we'll see a lot more of it here in the third quarter. And you just know the offense. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. And I think this team knew going into halftime, trailing, their defense was going to have to step up here in the second half. And on the very first play of the third quarter, they get a sack. That is good news for this defense. The roar of the crowd trying to fuel this defense to keep them pinned in their own end. They'll try the run. Finds just enough daylight to work his way up to the 19-yard line. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long back up inside their 20. 
Looking downfield, it's Arnold. He's going to fire deep. And trying to put points on the board on third down, now they're staring at fourth down. The Sooners will bring the punt team onto the field. Well, in the first half, this offense was up and down the field. It seemed like everything they were dialing up was working. And here we are in the third quarter, and there's a very rare incompletion on their own end of the field. Maybe that's the play the defense needs now to spark some momentum. Trying to start the drive with a pass. That pressure got to him, and he just had to chuck it out of bounds. Second down after that incompletion. He's looking to throw. Quick completion on the out. Well, that's great timing by the quarterback and receiver on that out route. If you're going to be running that against man coverage like they were there, that ball has to be thrown early, and it's got to be thrown out in front of the receiver, and they execute it perfectly. And it's intercepted. A turnover for the defense. Never had a chance to get rolling after the pick, but he gives them the ball in prime field position at the 40. And this safety is a ball hawk. He's a playmaker. Not only have we seen him get involved in the running game and make tackles playing downfield, but he plays the center field position as well as anybody in college football. And you saw it right there. Here comes the Oklahoma offense. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. And you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable with that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. Looking to throw on second down. Using the quick game. He puts him in business across the 50 into the 46-yard line. It'll be first down. It's a really nice throw. It's so impressive watching this Oklahoma passing attack now. You think back to Bob Stoops taking over as head coach in 1999 and bringing with him the air raid offense, a style of passing attack that still wasn't very prevalent in college football at the time, but since then they've always had good quarterback play and guys that could play up tempo, make good decisions. This dude right here, he fits in perfectly with what they're trying to do throwing the ball in the you know, we joke that the tight end's always open, David, but play action almost makes it impossible to keep them covered. And yeah, because those guys, they're such good blockers most of the time. They're big and physical, and they sell block for a second, and then they run open, and they find holes in zones, or they get good matchups. And man, those tight ends nowadays are nightmares for defenses to try to stop. And the Sooners in the hurry up. Takes the handoff. It's all Chuck. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. This is the type of play that decides games. Are you tough enough to convert third and short from the 30? Took a shot as he threw. Has no choice but to throw it away, and it'll bring up fourth down. They'll play it safe and send out the field goal unit. And the holder will place it down on the left hash. A 47-yard try coming smashes it between the uprights. And now the lead is extended a little far. to get a field goal on the board and now they'll kick it away from inside his own 10 he'll try to help out their field position he was looking for some running room but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18 they'll come out on this drive and let it rip gets it out quickly they pick up half of it it'll be second and five and I love when my quarterback sees zone and knows exactly where to go with the football. Sees the wide receiver running the drag route, knows when to throw it, pulls the trigger for the easy completion. And this offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. Got it in the middle, it's Coleman. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. He'll just keep slinging it. Got his man quickly. No chance to run, but still a solid pickup on that one. 
Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. Hand off from the shotgun. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. As they come to the line on third and short from the 43, I wonder if they already know they'll go for it if they don't make it here. Still on his feet at the 45. Plenty of room on that play, and they find their way to the 36. This Auburn offense doing work. They're set up with another first down. Running back searching for a hole. Good pick up on that play. It'll bring up second and four. They're about to snap it for the seventh time on this drive. After run, run, run. Now looking for the end zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. They've worked it down to the 30. This defense standing tall trying to force a field goal try. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. They've got it just outside the red zone. They'll move the chains. It's at the 21. Here comes Auburn to the line on first and 10. They'll pull it on the read. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. Long drive continues as the offense keeps working the ball down the field. Grab behind the line, it's Coleman. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Facing third and long from the 21 and hoping not to settle for a field goal. Get it out on the screen. Makes the grab and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Lots of good stuff on that play. You slow down the rush, you get a completion, and you move the chains. And most importantly, you're right. You don't force a short-yarded situation that you have to get. Nice job. Invite that rush up the field. Take advantage of the aggressiveness of the defense. Make the catch. Make the run. Get the first down. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical and pass deep. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. Going for six. Got it. They'll get him stopped just short of the end zone, but they're in business here with a first down. I really like this offense staying aggressive. They were in field goal. Touchdown, Tiger. A Lazarus-like comeback is underway. You know what? Methuselah lived 969 years. He was born and died in the amount of time it took them to walk it down the field and score that touchdown. <laughs> and that's just so frustrating. Play after play after play, you line up, you try to do your assignment, and you fail, and they cap it off with a touchdown? Oh, Methuselah. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Guys, let's take a look at what's happening in a great college football matchup. Ole Miss needs to pick up the pace, but this puppy is far from over. And with this crowd there in Oxford behind them, I'm kind of banking on a comeback. They're trailing by just four to Kentucky. We've got our eye on this one and everything else going on throughout the day. Guys. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. They'll run it from the gun. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. The Sooners moving quickly to the line. To the air, it's Arnold getting some heat. And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the nine. Another sack by this defense, but how about this QB? He continues to get back up every single time, still leading his team, still staying positive, still putting him in a good position to win this football game. The Sooners will send out the punt unit. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. Really good job by the coverage team to make the stop, and that's where they'll put it in play. And he just continues to put up numbers, and that number is now over 300. 
This guy just throws completions, man. The ball doesn't seem to touch the ground. He's back there. He's making the right reads. Right now, he is locked into what this defense is trying to do. They'll give it to him again. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. That'll be a gain of about seven. Leaves them with third and three. Trying to pick up a first down. They turn to the passing game on third and short. Catch in the middle. It's Lewis. They knock him down, but not before he picks up a first down for Auburn. And he throws another interception. His third of the night. Was looking for a little more daylight for a big return, but he'll settle for the pick and setting his offense up at the 24. And defensive backs, you think, don't have good hands. The big fella shows it. How about that defensive back going up and getting the interception? Nice job breaking on the football. You say that's why you play defense, because you don't have hands? Yeah, I bet the difference. Guys, we'll get another look at this Oklahoma offense. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. Don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. And they're able to force him out of bounds after a short pickup. release by the QB and the defense makes the immediate tackle but he has enough for the first down I don't blame them they're going to keep working this guy out of the slot until somebody finds a way to stop him yeah and why wouldn't you man you, you find a matchup that's working and you got a guy with this kind of athletic ability in the slot dude keep finding him keep using different routes so far the defense doesn't have an answer for him off play action on first down Always a welcome play for the defense as they get a sack at the 47. You can just see the excitement this defense has every play. They're almost wishing this quarterback drops back to throw because they know they're going to get home to him. That's the sixth time they've registered a sack. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. They move the tight end all over. They'll run play action. And he feels the heat coming, and it burns him up. Another sack. What a great play on defense there. It was virtually unblockable. He reminds me of Nick Fairley, probably the most dominant Auburn Tiger defender that I can remember. He was simply unblockable. You could single-team him, double-team him up front. He was playing D-tackle, and offenses just didn't have a, an answer for him. This guy right here, there's times where he flashes a little bit of that Nick Fairley ability. Fires deep toward the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown Sooners. Man, how hard is it to defend when you have a weapon like this at running back that can play wide receiver? You can design ways to get the football in his hand. Palmer, once you get in his hands, he'll do the rest. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, and oftentimes those are easier throws for quarterbacks. And these running backs, they're just naturally so good when they have the football out in space. Their vision, their creativity, their ability to make people miss. And this guy shows you right there a difficult, difficult guy to stop now if you're this defense moving forward. Looking downfield, it's Arnold. And that ball is intercepted at the goal line. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll start the return inside his five. They get him on the ground, and that'll be the final play of this third period. We reach the quarter break with Oklahoma on top. They're sitting in a strong position here with the lead. Let's take a look at our game summary. 
One quarter to go, and might we have the makings of a classic fourth quarter finish. Trying to find his man on first down. They've got the screen set up. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. Fresh set of downs after the completion. Plays like that, but just a second of hesitation in the defense to make sure, and they're able to take advantage here. And they use the great timing with this call, right? Like, you can't call this play all the time, but you want to catch them when they're a little bit aggressive, not thinking about it. Nice job slipping the screen behind them. And he breaks into the open. They got him free for a big gainer down to the 43. And the Tigers come to the line in the hurry up. How nice is it as a quarterback that you don't have to throw post routes to get great stats? No, I can just throw it quickly to one of the fastest players in the entire nation and let him burn this defense. Got the first down and more. He's now up to 75 yards on the ground, and he has his eyes fixed on leading the nation in rushing. Use the play fake now to throw. Unloads to the... And man, oh man, he is in the dark tonight. His fourth interception. It doesn't get any better for your defense. You know exactly the situation in the fourth quarter. Everything in your favor. Don't let them make big plays. How about you make a big play? Nice job getting the interception. It's not icing on the cake yet, but it's getting pretty close. Here come the Sooners ready to go on offense. To the air, it's Arnold. Fires to the big fella. I'll tell you, I love the play call on first down here. You're just trying to find an easy completion. And the shortest throw on the field, the quarterback is finding your biggest target, and that's the tight end. Nice job. From the gun, the running back has it. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. And that's incomplete, a defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground, fourth down coming up. And the Sooners will line up to punt it away. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. He'll call for the fair catch here. Let's see if they can put together a drive starting from their own 28. They'll run the RPO and fire to the right. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Wants to fire on second down. And the defense is all over the quarterback and down he goes. And the defense loves being in this type of situation, right? You've got a big lead. It's in the fourth quarter. You know the opponent's going to be throwing the football, so you get your best pass rushers coming off the edge, using that speed, dipping and ripping, getting to the quarterback for another big play. They come to the line, facing third and long from the 25. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. After that incompletion, fourth and long now on your own side of the field, you're trailing in the fourth quarter. What's your go-to play call here in the passing game? Where is the matchup that you trust in to come up with a big one to give yourself a chance to stay alive and win this game? Leaves it with the back. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. The Sooners headed quickly to the line. You got to give the coaching staff credit because they really do focus all season long on situational football with the lead late in the game. If we're on offense, we're trying to stay in bounds. We're trying to bleed the clock. And after ripping off a really nice run, that guy knew I've got to get down. I cannot get pushed out of bounds, cannot get tackled out of bounds. Really, really nice job. And the third down pass is incomplete. The Sooners line up to punt it away. I think in this situation after that incompletion, fourth and short on your side of the field, the smart play is to punt it away and trust your defense. You'd think they would have had a good chance to down that one deep, but the bounce carries it into the end zone for the touchback. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Found a little bit of running room, knocked down for the touchback. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Found a little bit of running room, knocked down at the 24 after a pickup of four. 
Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Dropping back, it's Thorne. A strike downfield. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. They've got the weapons to stay aggressive. You just made a big play. Let's see if we can take a shot here into the end zone, score, and try to save as much time on the clock as we can. He puts him in business across the 50 into the 46-yard line. It'll be first down. The Tigers come to the line with a new set of downs. To the air on first down. That pass is incomplete. After the quarterback and receiver couldn't connect, it's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. Makes a connection. He's at the ten. Touchdown, Auburn. And here they come almost all the way back. Oh, Uncle Mo has changed sidelines. Look out, brother. Here's what happens, right? Something happens. Get you close in the ball game. The defense needs to come out here, get a stop, get that ball back to the offense. All oh, Uncle Bo on your side. Getting set for the point after. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Fellas, I think at least a portion of your audience will have an interest in the one that just finished up. Texas A&M found a way to pick up the W. And a win is a win, but this was not the type of convincing victory they've gotten used to in College Station. Looking for room. It's Ocha. A lot to go through in the film session this week for both teams. But boy, it sure is going to be easier for the side that came away with the win. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there, Kevin. Thanks for the update. The give to the back. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? And the Sooners want to move quickly. All right, so I know the defense is going to be aggressive, right? They got their stop. They forced a third down. How aggressive does the offense want to be in response? Because if I throw the football, get a foot. And it's picked off. That's the turnover they desperately needed. Not much on that return, but I think they'll let him slide after making that pick, and they'll have it at the 20. Let's go. Talk about leaving the door open. Yes, please. You think they might run the clock out? run the football consistently. No, sir, they put it in the air. We forced the interception. Great job by the defense. When they needed it the most, they came through. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. They unleashed an aerial assault last time that took them right to the end zone, David. So, Reese, with that drive, I think you've accomplished something you wanted to accomplish. Make this defense think. You put them back on their heels. Now, shoot, Palmer, you might be able to slip a few runs in on this drive to really jack them up. Yeah, I like that idea, but I also like the fact that speed kills. And they've got it at the receiver position, so if you've got one-on-one -on -one matchups, man, take advantage. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, the give, looking for room. They get him on the ground, but not before. He rumbles all the way to the five. He's up to 94 yards rushing, and that should be no surprise. He's been among the nation's elite all season. They'll use the running game on first and goal. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. They'll run it up the middle here, looking for a path to the end zone. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. They're going to throw it on third and goal. It falls incomplete. He was trying to find his man for six. And this could prove to be the biggest play of the game. They'll go for it on fourth and goal. Trying to get to it. Still looking. Stop short of the marker. And a stop for this defense, and they get the ball back. They've got him pinned back in a world of trouble, and listen to this crowd coming through. Didn't find much room. He'll pick up a couple out to the five. 
They've got them then deep in their own end, and this crowd trying to help keep them there. They go to the ground. Not much room to run, giving one to the seven. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. And ball security at this point is at a premium for this offense. You're backed up in your own end. You've got the lead, so you want to be able to run the football and stay on the field, bleed the clock. But you know the defense is going to be ripping away at it, right? They're going to be trying to get hats to the football and forcing a fumble. So whoever's got the ball has got to have two hands on it this drive. Oh, what a move! They make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. Now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. He's taking the shot. And his fifth interception of the game, a miracle they haven't pulled him yet. Looking for more room. Not only made the pick, but he also made up some ground and took it back to the 38. Man, that is how you get it done as a defense when you're playing cover one. Like, you got the middle of the field safety, but everybody else is manning up. Nice job running with this guy, seeing the football, breaking on it, making the interception, making the big play for this defense. Offense getting set for first down. Quick release on the RPO. Just what this offense was looking for. Sets him up at the 26 with the first down. I'll be honest, man. If I had the weapons these guys had offensively, I'd be staying aggressive too. It's what got them to this point. It's why they have the lead here in the fourth quarter. Take some shots when those opportunities present themselves. Last play didn't go as planned. Now second and 10 from the 26. On the ground, trying to pull the plug on this clock. Love the physicality of the secondary on defense. That defender got to the football, was able to separate the receiver from the ball, and did it legally. Beautiful job. On third and long, try to convert. He'll take a shot. Pulls it in the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma. They build this fourth quarter lead, and they are just minutes away from going 5-0. And another passing touchdown for this Sooner quarterback. He keeps this up, and he might wind up in that 100-touchdown club with Baker Mayfield and Landry Jones. So many good guys that have had good days, but how about this day? I mean, fitting the ball all over the yard, just padding the stats, and you start mentioning guys like Jones, and you start mentioning guys like Baker Mayfield, that's Sooner pristine legacy there. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. Quickly complete. And that defense doesn't allow a cutback, and they get him out of bounds after a short game. And that's perfect for the defense. You'll give that up all day. You're winning this game by multiple possessions late in the game. Play big zone coverages, keep the ball in front of you, and tackle the ball carrier in bounds. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Gets it out fast. He'll have the first down as he gets it to the 28-yard line before he stops. Auburn to the line in a hurry. They absolutely had to have that third down to keep any glimmer of hope alive. And defensively, that's exactly what... Reels it in and goes out of bounds on the left side after the huge game. One big play and you go from a little backed up to threatening. It's first and 10 from the 40. Looking for a man. It's Thorne. Coming after him. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to fight another play. After they couldn't connect, it's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Setting up the screen. They ripped off seven on that one. Now a third down and three. The offense in hurry-up mode. On third and short, they'll try to throw for it. That's reeled in. It's Hunter. Good tackle there to stop him short of the first down, and now they have to make a call. 
Oh, uh, you know, that's one as a quarterback. You've thrown the completion, and you're like, dude, can you just turn around and make one guy miss and go get the first? Or can you just stretch out and get the first down? You need your guys to have a little bit more awareness where they are in the field on that play. And even though they got the completion, it's not enough to pick up the first. And now you're staring fourth down right in the face. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we see miracles in college football all of the time, and they could use one here. Shoots it to the left. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. He's looking to throw. And he dropped it, just didn't look the thing all the way in. They were really starting to put a drive together. And after a couple of incompletions, now they need a big play on third and ten. Makes the catch. It's Hunter. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. They're throwing for it on fourth down. Touchdown, Tiger! And the comeback is on! And that's step one. Great job by this offense of getting in the end zone. Now you got to go get the stop. You got to get the football back. You got to find a way to do something to create a turnover, get an onside to get the football back, to get back in this football game. Lining up for the PAT. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll return it. Gets it across the 20 to the 21, and not quite what he would have picked up just taking the touchback. Here comes the Sooner offense back onto the field. Guys, you want to be productive here and not go into a shell, but you've got to take care of the ball. Yeah, and I think you say productive. He's productive at this point in the game is running the clock and getting first down. So, Jesse, I can expect this defense to be aggressive, way up near the line of scrimmage, bringing a bunch of bodies, trying to stop the run. And that's why it puts a lot of pressure on an offense, David, because you know if you do try to throw the football, it's probably man coverage. You're probably getting blitzed. It's going to be into a small window. It is not easy to execute in this situation of the game. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. The Sooners will punt this one away. He will signal for the fair catch and take it just inside the 35. Offense set on first down. Back to pass, it's Thorne. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. And now on second down for this offense. Couldn't connect on first down. Now back to the air. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. And it's another interception as his assault on the record book continues. Got room on the return. And he was finding space, and he took it all the way back to the 22. Aggressive versus reckless. It's such a fine line when you're trailing and you need to make plays late in the game. The offense was reckless, turned the football over, and this one doesn't look great. Running out the clock seems to be a mere formality here as they are ready to snap it in victory formation. Happy with the situation, the quarterback will take a knee. It's one thing to execute early in the game. Tight ball game, right at the end, you need the clutch plays, these guys deliver. And you can't teach that gene. You have people that, that can focus in the moment or they can't. Great job by the team. Staying focused, understanding it's a close battle. Win those one play at a time and then look up and then, heck, I got the win. Yeah, David, they just had ice in their veins. And you can tell there's tremendous leadership on this football team. Guys can step up and in the huddle, they can make sure that everybody else is focused to the task at hand in order to get the W.